Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if it's not, well, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm sharing 10 Valentine's Day dollar store DIYs. You want to stick around until the end as you will see one amazing transformation. I created myself um, this little birdhouse. I just bought it and painted it and decorated it. And I liked it so much. I thought it was so cute. I decided to grab one of these little wooden trailers. I paid $4 for this little trailer. And I'm going to share with you how I'm decorating this for Valentine's Day. I got myself some red paint at Home Depot. These uh, sample are $5 and they're well worth the purchase because they last a very long time. And I'm painting the whole body um, of this trailer, but not the top of it. The color I'm using is called Ruptured Red. Now I'm using scissors to cut the string on top and I got a little bit of um, string left over so I'm just going to try to push that in. I'm using some buffalo plaid uh, cotton fabric and I'm cutting a piece that's going to fit the whole top of the trailer. I cut it as close as I can and then I'll fix it at the end if it's a bit too big. Now I'm using Mud Podge and I'm going to apply this Mud Podge on the roof um, section by section, going a little bit at a time and putting the piece of fabric on top. I have been doing a lot of projects prior to doing this little um, cute camper and my fingers are full of red paint so I suggest having clean hands before you rub this fabric. I'm just cutting this piece that's too long. And now I'm applying Mud Podge all over the fabric and this will protect um, the fabric and also make sure that it's adhered to the little trailer very well. I'm using my hair dryer to speed up the drying process. I'm using my um, lighter and make sure you have a dish of water close by in case you need it. But I'm just going to burn the edge of this fabric. I have a little bit of fraying so I'm getting rid of that with this lighter. Now using my stain by Benjamin Moore. It's called Alexandria Beige. I'm staining the window case, the door case with that little roof top, um, the little perch for the bird in front of the door, and also the front frame of the trailer. Now I'm using black scraps paint and I'm painting the wheels along with the itch of the trailer up front.
now i'm using a little wooden heart and i'm going to hot glue that on top of that little roof and now to finish uh, my little trailer i'm simply using some white crafts paint and painting this little heart now how cute is this i call this my little love shack this was really affordable four dollars a little bit of fabric and a little bit of paint I got these uh, for $2.50 each and I got myself three of those and also got these bags of half um, circle foam. The first thing I'm doing is seeing if these are going to fit around my heart and spread them evenly and now hot gluing all the way around. Now I'm using my ruptured red paint and giving these hard three good coats of paint. This is what it looks like with one coat of paint and I'm going to go ahead and get the other two ready as well. While I wait in between coats of paint to dry, I'm using six of these uh, wood hearts, three larger one and three smaller ones. And the three larger one, I'm using my buffalo plant fabric on the back side and tracing these hearts with a pencil and cutting them off and applying the buffalo plaid uh, on top with the Mod Podge like I did in the little trailer. Now that I have my tree hearts ready, I'm speed drying them with my hair dryer. Now I'm hot gluing the little hearts in the middle of the buffalo heart. And same as the trailer, I'm just burning the fraying around the heart. And now using my Benjamin Moore and Alexandria color, I'm just carefully staining these little hearts. My hearts are nice and dried with three coats of paint and I'm using some sticky dots to stick these little buffalo hearts onto the corner of the bigger heart. And this is the result. It cost me less than $10 for these three beautiful hearts. And this will look lovely in my Valentine's Day decor. I got a pack of these cookie cutters. Um, these cost me $1.25. And I'm simply taking some uh, twine of rope, but the thicker one and wrapping around the hearts, uh, hot gluing at the beginning and the end. When I get to this area, it gets a little bit difficult to work with, so I'm just applying a little bit of hot glue to hold everything in place. Mm -hmm. 
So I went ahead and got all my hearts done. I did not do the little one as it's just too tiny and difficult to work with. I had these signs on hand. I no longer use them. So I'm removing the top and using this as a base for my heart. I'm using my Benjamin Moore stain in Alexandria color again and staining these three bases. Now I'm hot gluing the hearts on top of the bases. Now because the hearts are three different sizes, it's giving me three different heights for these little hearts. And here they are. How cute and how affordable is this project. Let me know what you think of these three little heart set. This project is very easy. I just picked up these letters and simply giving two coats of red paint to these and displaying uh, them on a shelf on my house. I just want to show you options, um, very affordable options to uh, use as decor. These are so cute and they are great as a filler on your shelf. This was just too easy not to make for my home. I got these packs of garlands. They were $3.50 a pack and I got multiple of these. So I'm taking these apart, removing the hearts from the string. I'm removing the clothes pin on the back of these hearts, but you don't have to. If you want to keep them there, that's fine as well. Now, because I'm really fussy on the color red, I'm using my ruptured red color that I got at Home Depot and painting all the red hearts. But you don't have to do this. If you like the red color as it is, just go ahead and move on to the next step. Now for the pink heart, I'm using white paint and painting these. This paint color is called Baby Breath. Now some part of my project repeats itself, so I'm just not going to repeat everything. I'm just applying this buffalo plaid the same way I did in previous project in this video. Now I'm using small beads and staining them with my Benjamin Moore in the color Alexandria stain. And I'm using a toothpick to hold these beads in order to stain them.
As you can see, I have made a lot of these and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these together. I'm using twine rope and I'm putting the garland back together, but the way I kinda wanna have it displayed in my house. I'm using a fair size needle uh, that fits through the hole of the heart to uh, string these hearts back on. Now I'm putting two beads, a red heart, and repeating two more times. So I'll have three hearts, and then I'll put two more beads at the end of those three hearts, put a buffalo, and then repeat. Now I made it this far, I feel like I want to add a little something to my buffalo heart. If you like it this way, you don't have to. I just want to add a little bit more touch to it. I'm using the smallest wood hearts that I can find in this pack and using sticky dots, sticking them to the heart and then applying a coat of Benjamin Moore Alexandria color stain on top of these little hearts. And you create your garland as long as you need it. Oh my, what can I say? I am in love with this garland. I'm so glad I took the time to modify this to fit my home decor. This is just too cute. I got one of these frames. These come with the frame and the canvas. These are $4.00. And I'm going to go ahead and stain the frame with my Alexandria Beige Benjamin Moore stain again. I got the number 14 and I'm simply applying two coats of my red color to these numbers. And once they are dried, I'm going to sand the edges to make them a little bit more of a rustic look. I hot glued my number to my canvas and now hot gluing the canvas to the frame. This is such a simple but then yet cute project and this is so, so affordable. I got this sign for $4 and I'm simply going to take the backing out of it. I started to paint around the letters with my white paint and then I thought uh, no way, there's an easier way to do this. So I decided to remove the love letter and it was um, really, really easy to remove. Now I'm using my red paint and giving two coats of paint to this love stencil. Now, as this board's drying, I'm noticing that it's lifting, and you know what? This happened to me before. I don't know why I didn't think of this. So, it's just lifting and coming right apart. So, 
I'm just painting on the other side and giving it three coats. Now, while I'm waiting for my white paint to dry, I'm using six of these little wooden hearts, three smaller ones, three a little tad bigger, and staining them in my Alexandria Beige stain. My board is nice and dried, and I'm putting my backing back in place. I'm hot gluing my love sign to my board. And creating a little trail of hearts behind the love sign. I want it to keep this very, very clean and simple. Now the simplicity of this frame is what makes it so nice. I just love, love this project and another yet very affordable one. I found this pack of foam hearts, which these are absolutely perfect for basket fillers. The largest one I'm going to put aside and apply that buffalo fabric over it with the Mod Podge and I'm going to cut two pieces, one for the front and one for the back and trimming this fabric as I go along. Also, when I get further into the project, I'm going to need to create a, some little slit on to the fabric to make it fit better because this is a hard shape it's not square so it's a little bit more difficult and then i'm gonna cut some access off Now I'm trying this side and then moving along to the other side. I'm drying most of this heart before I lay it down. Now for all the rest of these hearts, I'm putting them on shish kebab stick and giving them two coats of that red paint.
and look at this beautiful basket with the big buffalo heart standing in the middle of all the other red ones i simply added a buffalo napkin and a plant and this looks so nice i got several of these two packs of felted hearts but i decided that i'm going along with just the large ones and I have some larger beads that are already pre-stained with my Alexandria stain, so I'm using these. Now I'm using some twine rope and looping this through the holes on each side of these little felted hearts. And I'm then using um, these beads that I got at Amazon and I'm using the black and white buffalo and then one stain and another buffalo and moving along creating the length that I need for this garland. I know that in this video I used the large and the small but then I took it apart and put only the large hearts on my garland. How beautiful is this garland? Now, anybody can make this. It's just a matter of having the felt heart and some beads and voila. This is so, so cute. I got this big, shiny, very shiny heart at the dollar store. I paid $4 for this. And if you know me and you've been watching previous videos you know i don't do shiny so i'm removing everything just keeping the base i basically only bought this heart so i can have this uh, heart shape wired looking frame I have given one good coat of spray black paint to this piece. It was really faded red and now it's beautiful and black. And I'm using some red ribbon, some buffalo ribbon, and adding a little bit of beige ribbon to this wreath. I was going to use this um, ribbon that I got at the dollar store, but it's just not working for me. So I'm going to put it aside. I just don't like the flimsiness of it and the shiny part on the side. So I'm using the beige instead. Now I'm cutting a section of ribbon the length that I need it. And I'm weaving this through this wired heart from front to back and front to back, front to back until I get to the very top. On the left side of the heart, I'm going to put a stripe uh, beige and then one in buffalo, another beige, and then finish at the end with a red, doing the exact same thing, going on top and under, but on the opposite from the other one. The right side of the heart is all going to be done in red. I 
I got my heart all weaved, so I'm flipping it around and hot gluing all the edge of the ribbon to uh, the wire. As the glue is drying, I'm just going around and cutting all the edges. I'm using some thicker size uh, rope and hot gluing that all the way around the edge of the heart. Now, as I'm hot gluing this rope, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if I should go across and give it more of a quilted look so i'm gonna go ahead and cut pieces of ribbon to fit the section and just weave it through like i did previously and when i'm weaving i'm actually going to cover the black wire if that makes sense
I'm going to carefully remove this rope, hoping not to damage anything too much. And going around, hot gluing the ribbon to the frame again and cutting the excess. Now I'm trying this again, hot gluing the rope all the way around the heart three times. And I'm out gluing this piece of rope to the back of the heart. I'm kind of fluffing these ribbon, um, making them more straight, fix them all up, hiding uh, as much as the black wire as I can just to make it look good. And as I'm fluffing these, I'm noticing that right here in the corner, I made a boo-boo. So I'm going to try to fix this the best I can, cutting a small piece of ribbon and just hot gluing to the very edge, um, really the best I can. And that is hardly noticeable, or if you can notice it at all. Now, using the buffalo plaid ribbon, I'm creating a double bow and leaving a long tail on each side. I'm cutting a long piece of twine rope to tie this bow together. I'm hot gluing this bow to the wire of this heart because if I don't like it, I can always remove it and not damage my ribbon. I'm hot gluing one of these wooden hearts to the middle of this rope and then painted it in red. Uh, I should probably paint it in red beforehand, but I decided that I was going to put this little heart here last minute. So I'm being very careful not to touch the ribbon. I'm putting four small beads on a shish kebabs and painting them red. I'm 
I'm drying these beads with my hair dryer. I'm using two of these buffalo beads that I got at Amazon and I'm putting them on the rope by the bow. I'm going to place a red one, a buffalo, and another red one, and a chai with a knot on the top and the bottom. And here is my heart all completed. Oh my, what a difference. This is so affordable. It is not worth not making one for yourself. It would cost less than $10 to get this done. And this gives you a nice bigger piece for your wall. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed these easy and very affordable DIYs and I hope I inspired you to go on and create some of your own. If you like this video, please give me the big thumbs up and please tell me which one of these is your favorite in the comment down below. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you like what you see, well, today is a perfect day to show me some love and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, folks, have yourself a wonderful day.